Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Nursing Education. Today I'm here with one of the on the topic is planning and in the planning station I will talk about the respiratory system in which I will talk about the nursing problem, the aim, revaluation date and time and the nursing intervention. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get more video. In the planning station, you have to write the two nursing from lab, uh, whether it is a respiratory condition, head injury, in any of the health from lab, you have to write two nursing from lab. And planning station is the second station. So before coming to planning station, you would have complete the assessment station. And from that station, you should have identified the sign and symptom of the patient and then you have to prioritize that and based on that you have to write the nursing problem and make the nursing care plan so i've written two nursing problem here and this is the uh, problem of the patient with the chest infection or the pneumonia so this is a common sign and symptom uh, the patient will have if the patient is having chest infection so first one is William is experiencing difficulty in breathing with a respiratory rate of 28 due to chest infection. Second one is William is experiencing 5 over 10 pain due to the chest infection. So uh, first nursing problem is William is experiencing difficulty in breathing with a respiratory rate of 28 due to chest infection. So if the patient with a chest infection is having a difficulty in breathing and the respiratory rate is high, it is a first problem you have to write in the nursing planning or the planning station and then uh, you have to prioritize it. Aims of care. So whenever you are writing uh, aim of care, you have to write uh, the aim of care which is measurable and achievable. So aim of care for this problem is William will have ease of breathing with a respiratory rate of 12 to 20 breaths per minute, which you can measure. Revaluation date. So revaluation date is uh, or time is something you have to or you are going to assess a whole uh, care plan all the intervention that you have planned is not only one so it's stepping upon the symptom of the patient so for this patient as the patient is having breathing difficulty I have written the evaluation date is today 27-01-2023 every hour and when his clinical condition changes nursing intervention so for the nursing intervention you can use the pneumonic hematarid and that will be easy for you to write the nursing intervention in the planning station so first intervention is explain and discuss aspect of care to william and gain consent for all intervention second one is monitor vital sign hourly or as per news score protocol Third one is assess for sign of worsening breathing such as pale color, dizziness, shakiness, using accessory muscle to breathe. Fourth one is teach William to use deep breathing exercise to relax and improve lung expansion. Fifth one is administer prescribed medication and monitor their effect an hour after administration. Sixth one is refer William to chest physiotherapy, a smoking suggestion team and respiratory nurse if required. Seventh is instruct William to remain in an upright position to assist in long expansion. And last one is document all care as given. Second nursing problem is William is experiencing 5 over 10 pain due to chest infection. Aim of care is William will have a pain score of 2 over 10 or less. Re-evaluation date would be today, 27-1-2023, every hour and when his clinical condition changes. So nursing intervention for this nursing problems are, first one is explain and discuss all aspects of care and gain consent for all intervention. Second one is monitor pain score hourly using 0 to 10 pain scale until pain score will be 3 over 10 or variable. Third one is assess pain using PQRST method. So 
P is provocation, Q is quality, R is radiation, S is severity, and T is timing. So fourth one is a teach relaxation technique such as meditation, breathing exercise, and positioning. So fifth one is administered analgesia as prescribed and monitor effectiveness after one hour. Sixth one is refer to pain team if pain remain uncontrolled. Seventh one is instruct to use call bell when pain increases. And last one is document all care as given. Thank you for watching. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get more video. Keep watching, keep supporting. Thank you.